Hello everybody, Catboy Vaughn here. Well, it's time for a Cobra review. It's time for one of the things I've been anticipating for the from the first wave, besides the Cobra Alley Piper. We're gonna talk about the Cobra Hiss Tank, version five. Yes, there have been four other versions. Initially this thing was ideated as the first version of the His Tank, period. This is what the His Tank would look like in the Rise of Cobra series. But a version 5, duh, for just for the regular series, uh, that's fine with me. Before we get to it, let's talk about the packaging. This is the first time I'm reviewing one of these things this big. Um, box is pretty nice. Some good artwork. Uh, we got tank. We have his tank firing here. It's also up front too. On this side we have the Cobra his. Well, we have the driver. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I got the name right. I know it's a Cobra his tank driver. Yeah, Cobra his tank driver. We have him right here. A little spiel about GI Joe being codenamed for a special operations unit highly of highly trained men and women. Their purpose is to defend the world against Cobra, a ruthless organization with criminal, criminal tentacles. That's, that seems weird or something. In every nation on earth. Tentacles. I, I don't get that. Tentacles would be, I would consider tentacles be more connected to Hydra. The group Hydra from the Marvel Universe stuff. Whatever. Um, the packaging is very nice. Uh, the top's another picture of it. And the bottom is the file card, which I'll get to in a bit. Um, well, I'm going to read the little blurb on the back. Because we got a picture of what it actually looks like and a background setup. Which is a very nice background setup. Good job, Hasbro. Old back says As the desert battle unfolds, Cobra Root unleashes its devastating new weapon, the Cobra His Tank. Like I said, this was set to be the first version of the His Tank. It was only rewritten a lot later in the process who have nothing to do with the Rise of Cobra stuff. And have more connection to the original series. The chase... The chassis... Evolution... And rotates 360 degrees. 360! Woo! To expand visual range and shut down any surprise attack. Okay. Extreme, extreme terrain treads. Speed over the rough ground as the tank. Huh? Pers Percept. I, I can't read. God, I suck. It's me message of destruction with the ultimate blast of its plasma cannon. Alright, that sounds good. This is part of the desert environment set for the Pursuit of Cobra, which is the desert battle, which reads, G.I. Joe fights back as Cobra unleashes its new weapon, the Cobra His Tank. Again, this was set to be connected to the Rise of Cobra stuff, where there was no His Tank yet. And we get the driver and some other information. I'll read the file card in a moment, but one other notable thing. Also another thing, see this? It's a Cobra Desert Viper, which was released in the Rise of Cobra set. And because the Pursuit of Cobra stuff is not supposed to be connected to it, I find that odd. Because they use a lot of the Rise of Cobra figures for the for the for the packagings and stuff. Night at they've used Night Adder, they've used a couple uh, let's see. 
kind of thing. I used a couple Firefly figures too, in the city environment. I don't know, just what they did, I guess. Anyway, I'll get to the file car in a moment. Let's get to it. The Cobra His Tank out of packaging. Note, um, this isn't without sticker apps. Yeah, they didn't put any of the stickers on for you, so. Uh, this comes in multiple parts when you open it up, but it does come with instructions, so don't worry. Um, let's see what would be notes of interest. Uh, the treads are actually regular treads. I feel like regular treads, um, and yeah, it, it's spring loaded from a button or just pressing hard on this, see, makes it spring loaded and makes it go up. The entire thing can rotate a full 360, which is pretty cool, well when it's up anyway. Uh, when it's down, it doesn't really move that well. Um, its weapons are front cannons that turn left and right all the way. Um, they could go full 360, but is hindered by in this scale. Checking out in this scale. It could go, but is hindered by this. The front weapons, a Machine gun, which has an accessory of bullets, connections, you know, bullet, I don't know what other things are, and a missile launcher that actually fires a missile. The button's right here, there you go, fires it, don't really care, it's the part of the gimmick. Um, Unfortunately, this makes no sound effects, but I don't care. Weapons are turned from a red button right here, which you can turn them left and right slightly. Which is very cool. Uh, there's a little front thing that comes that comes without it. I had a hard time finding where that went at first, but I eventually found it. Uh, there's two hidden compart. There's two compartments. First one is right here for a secondary character. Probably put right here, close that, and then lift up. Then another in the front, probably the driver. The second one is probably for the like for the secondary weapons or holding for a character. The character for travel. I don't know. I didn't say that, but whatever. There we go. Coming up in the front. Uh, the front has controls for the main driver. And that's really it. For that sticker apps, it's not much to say. But it's designed. It's randomly brown. But in this, it looks black. On this, it looks tan. I don't think they were able able to get an idea for its coloring, though, which is a problem. But this is a very, very nice vehicle, which I like. Now, moving on to the figure. As soon as I get this thing to stay, there we go. I just need to place it. There we go. The figure we're given is the Cobra His Tank Driver, which is just the Cobra His Tank Driver from previous head from the 25th anniversary line with um, the armored Cobra Commander slash Iron Grenadier body from the 25th anniversary line with a bulletproof vest. I don't know where that's from. Wait, no, that that's from the Resolute 2 pack with Destro that was part of Destro's outfit. 
Anyway, um, looks nice. Uh, articulation, the arms go about this far up, then up and down, turn a full 360. Elbows bend in and out, turn a full 360. Head moves up and down, turns a full 360. Waist moves, um, can move left and right, but are hindered by its accessories. Actually, you can turn a full 360, it just feels weird. Uh, legs move about this far up, but are hindered by the little belt thing. This far back, bend in the kneecap, and two joints. Feet move up and down, and turn a full 360. Articulation's basic, but pretty nice. And also a little well better protected than the previous his tank drivers that we've received before in the 25th anniversary line. These guys are protected a little more, which is always a good thing. He came with three accessories. A little backpack, which fits through here. There we go. A revolver. And a st uncolored staff. The staff was also released in the chase, fi chase figure for the Pursuit of Cobra. Well, Cobra Commander figure. But that one was colored. I'm guessing the staff is supposed to be a control mechanism for the his tank. A little remote control thing. Don't know why you need it so big, but whatever. Here we go. Oh, whatever. It looks pretty cool, though. I don't know what's wrong with my lighting today. Anyway, let's finally, let's read the little file card for my last few minutes. <clears throat> file number, number, according to this, is 1020. Okay. Cobra Hiss Tank Driver. Cobra Hiss Tank Driver are the most highly trained and a gr a gr can't God I can't read. Um, a gr drivers. They're uh, angry drivers. In the Cobra, in the Cobra ranks, they have to be. They have to be. They are at the control of the most sympathetic. I oh, God I can't read and destructive ground weapons in the world. They unleash full force at this new weapon in the desert battle against the G.I. Joe team. Mission equipment, GR-3036 short blast laser weapon. And that, that would be, he came with a revolver. And according to this, he is a Cobra, numbers 2222, Dash HD. Awesome. He's high definition. Um. Well, besides me being a really, really bad reader, this looks. This is a very nice set. Um. Also, because this was so hastily packaged, due to the fact, trying not to connect anything, connect any of this connected to the Rise of Cobra stuff. It does feel, even though it's written like it should be. Because Cobra has had his tanks in the past. There's been four other versions. Four. Anyway, that's this review. I like it. If you can see it, pick it up definitely. This is a really good buy, and I'll see you get a new version of his tank. Anyway, that's it for this review. I'm Catboy Van. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.